Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is Sunday, fun day. I know that you are probably hangover, or maybe you're just tired and relaxing, you know. But let's be honest, it's October. There are parties every single weekend, okay? And I know, I know that you like to have fun just like me. So, anyways, let me know what are your plans from October, girl. Right now, we're going to be talking about the Real Housewife of Salt Lake City and some very heartbreaking tea about none other than Miss Mary Cosby. But before we get into that, if you are new here, welcome to The Rowley Troop, where I spill the tea every single day and I keep you hooked with everything that is happening on the pop culture street, inside of the Bravoverse, and more. So if you want to know everything that is happening, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. Yes, do it right now, girl. It is free. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from this loyalty. Yes, we have a new partner joining us, just like Rose Forever and Liquid AB, which they're both still pretty much active, okay? So this loyalty is a membership subscription that will give you amazing discounts in hotels and restaurants all around the world. If you have been following me for a while on my other YouTube channel, Destination and This World, you know that I love to travel around the world and I love to take you with me everywhere and find amazing deals. I have been using this loyalty for a while, but finally we are partnering up. So if you want to check it out and see what it's all about, go to the link on the description below. And don't forget to use my code MAMALA09 and you will get the first whole month for free. Okay. All right, guys. So let's talk about the Real Housewife of Salt Lake City. Look, I have to tell you something. I, am, I have been one of the first person to not really be that happy about the return of Mary Cusp. You know, she has done a lot of things uh, in the show and outside of the show that I found very shady and that I have ne not really agreed, you know, especially a lot of the racist comments that she did, especially at the beginning of the show, you know, that she was making all of these comments about uh, Mexicans, about Asians, about uh, black people, you know, it was very hard to watch at the beginning. And then on top of that, you add all of the drama with the church, you know, and all of the rumors that have been going around about Mary Cosby for years now. You know, the interviews, the mother talking, the cousins talking, the people from the church talking. So you're like, this girl, it's like, I don't know. So when they announced that she was going to be returning to the show, I was a little bit worried. Okay. With that being said, she is probably going to. If this tea is true, you know, she's going to go through one of the hardest things that you can go through and is watching your kid suffer and go to a very hard path, you know, and that is something that you do not want to wish on anyone. All right. So apparently, and according to all about the tea, they are reporting that Real Housewife of Salt Lake City star Mary Cosby's son has checked in into rehab for an addiction to cocaine and fentanyl. Okay? And <clears throat> it, only if you have had people in your family that has gone through this, you will understand how hard it is, how hard this situation is. You know, um, it is interesting. I read, I actually read uh, some post yesterday, actually, about how if you pay close attention, the show this season is um, giving us little Easter eggs about Mary Cosby, how she is as a mother, you know. They talk about how uh, what we have seen on the show so far, Mary Cosby has been going, has been shown in a different light, uh, more sympathetic. Uh, the how she has been shown like 
uh, when Lisa Barlow was talking about Jack and all the medical issues that he was having in Colombia, she uh, Mary was the first one to jump and say, I understand, you know, I'm Hawker and like say, I'm going to be praying and, you know, all of that. And how every time that there is something about related to family, Mary has been acting a different way. And they say that they is because they want to give her that arc that is going to finish with, you know, there is a part on the trailer where, you know, Mary Cosby is talking to her kid, to her son, and both of them are crying. And Mary is telling her that she will die if something happened to him. Now, we don't know if this is going to be related to this news. But what is really, what, what is clear is that something has been going on in that household, you know, to push the kid to take this. I think it should not be, it must not be easy growing up like that, you know. First of all, the confusion, like your, your, your dad is your great grandfather. Like, I don't know, like the whole thing is just weird. Your mom is, is married to the grandfather and then you have the church and then you have everyone talking about it. And then, and then your mom decided to go on a full on reality show where like absolutely everyone is talking about it. So imagine if, if kids of other housewives get bullied for their moms getting drunk or whatever, imagine what this guy have gone through after everything that Mary Cosby has done and said on this reality show for so long, you know? So I can only imagine how that can affect your sight. Now, I'm not saying that it's all on Mary Cosby. I think it's uh, a mix of situations, you know? And it's a very sad um, outcome. Now, the news that we had over here from All About the Tea, um, until now, it's allegedly, you know, because... They have not really given anything else other than that. Um, but if this is the case, I'm just glad that he is seeking help, that he is um, trying to do something better. And I hope that he's able to fight those demons, you know. And at this moment, this is one of those moments that we put everything aside because, you know, uh, we need to literally pray for Mary Cosby you know, and her family, because no one deserves to be going through something like this, you know, she deserves, she needs um, support, because this is not going to be an easy journey, there is no magic pill to cure addiction, you know, and it's something that even if he's able to get over it, no, not only get over it, if he's able to like take control of it, he will going to have to live with this for the rest of his life you know so yeah let's pray for mary anyways let me know what you guys think on the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real house of salt lake city or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye